No, no, that's, that's all right. I just I haven't read your book. I have it right here. <laughs> up, up the Amazon by Colonel Lloyd Manager. You, you're a colonel? Yes. Air Force, but I'm retired. Oh. What, what's, uh, what's the book about? It's about a canoe trip I took up the Amazon a couple of years ago. One minute, Mr. Loudon. Oh. <laughs> okay, do um, you think you can talk about this for 10 or 15 minutes? Oh, I can talk about this for days. Great. <laughs> My guest in the studio today is uh, uh, Colonel Lloyd Menninger. He's uh, written a fascinating book called uh, Up the Amazon. Colonel, tell us about your trip. Thank you, Dick. I've always been fascinated by stories about the Amazon. So when I retired from the Air Force, I arranged for some guides and canoes, and after months of planning, set out to travel from the mouth to the source of the Amazon. The whole trip was a medley of pain and pleasure. And why is that, Carlos? Well, there were times the mosquitoes were so thick we couldn't see each other. And sometimes the air was so heavy we felt we were drinking it instead of breathing it. And yet, the sheer spectacle of those deep green rain for us, unspoiled by any man, was worth every inconvenience. Now, did you get to the source of the river? Not quite, Dick. About five months into the trip, we decided to explore a tributary hundreds of miles from any civilization. A day or two into this side trip, we pulled the canoes over to the bank and decided to do some exploring on foot. We walked for several miles when we came up on a clearing in the jungle that had some of the most breathtaking scenery I think I've ever seen. Well, why don't you tell us about it, Colonel? Well, Dick, it was a beautiful primeval valley filled with hundreds of varieties of exotic vegetation and perhaps most amazing, a herd of prehistoric dinosaurs. Uh, what? That's right, Dick. Some docile brontosauri, flying pterodactyls, and, of course, the king of these great beasts, the carnivorous Tyrannosaurus Rex. Needless to say, we were shocked. <laughs> amazed. <laughs> Simultaneously amazed and terrified, we were torn between running for our lives and running for our cameras. <laughs> uh, are, are, you, are you trying to tell us that, that you found dinosaurs in, in South America? Correct, Dick. Of course, I would not be making these claims without documented proof. I have here an actual, unretouched photo clearly showing the existence of these giant reptiles. I, I can't make out anything in that. Area. Well, of course, it was taken from the air. Wait, wait a minute. I, th I thought you said you made the trip by canoe. We did, Dick. But we were graciously transported aloft to take this photograph by the extraterrestrials who live in the area. Ex extraterrestrials. That's right. Dick. They are actually ball-shaped and communicate through telepathy. Don't go away. Not, not that you would. We'll, we'll be right back after this, this word from our sponsor. We're uh, talking with retired Air Force Colonel Lloyd Menninger, who has written a book called Up the Amazon, in which he purports to have seen dinosaurs and aliens <laughs> living somewhere in Brazil. <laughs> Colonel, uh, I, I'm sure that you'll have to admit that you've made some extraordinary claims, and at the risk of sounding realistic, <laughs> it, it seems to me that uh, if there were dinosaurs and alien beings on the banks of the Amazon, we would have heard about it before this. Well, not from me, Dick. 
I've been in hiding. Hiding? Uh, correct, Dick. The government is trying to kill me. Obviously, when I say government, I mean specifically the CIA. They know that if this information were to get out, it would panic the public. But you're, you're not hiding now. Well, Dick, I didn't feel I could pass up an opportunity to speak on television. I've been trying for months to tell my story over the airwaves. But as we all know, the three major networks, as well as PBS and most cable channels, are now controlled by the Soviet Union. <laughs> okay, I'm, um... <clears throat> I'm afraid that's all the that time we have for today. Four more minutes, Dick. Not for me, pal. <laughs> this is Dick Loudon for Book Talk saying goodbye. And please try to forget this. And how long have you been in the KGB, Dick? <laughs>